What's going on guys? Brad from Midwest and the Rest here today. I'm going to show you guys my new toy, my 2014 and a half new edition Kawasaki KLR 250. I uh, picked it up just under a week ago and as you can tell it's the black and the matte gray finish. Um, I picked it up used with about 2300 miles and right now we're at 2626 so I put a couple two or three hundred miles on it so far and I'm loving every second of it I'd never ridden a KLR before I got this and uh, so my expectations were kind of low I was afraid that on the highway it was gonna be terrible but really it's it's exceeded my expectations completely um, it's a blast around town Hopping on the highway for a little bit. It's really not bad. I rode probably an hour and a half on the road yesterday. And uh, it was a little gusty, but I think on any bike you would have had that issue. So anyways, more about the bike. Oh, and you can see there my RMZ250, which is filthy because I did a hair scramble and then had to leave for Arizona the next day. And I haven't really had any time to get her cleaned up or put some new rubber on it. That's for another video, I guess. I'll... Get that washed up, maybe do a how to change tires video. Change some oil on it and uh, some maintenance. Anyways, back to the KLR. Um, the guy before me, he put the Pelican uh, panniers on it. And then on the sides with the brackets and the quick detach. So I thought that was awesome. He also put uh, the Wolfman waterproof tank bag and a center stand which I was really digging until today when I went to go hop over a curb and it does hang down a little lower than everything else and scraped it so now if I'm going to do any off-roading I don't know I might take that off I haven't really looked at it real close how difficult it would be to take it off uh, one other thing he did is installed a USB charger the only problem with it is there's no switch so those two little lights there um, are always on so eventually it would drain the battery I haven't had any problems yet uh, I've been riding every day so I'm sure it's been keeping the battery charged up good enough I'm, I doubt those LEDs use a whole lot of electricity uh, one other thing is the pigtail for a battery tender so uh, that's pretty handy too. I've got a battery tender. I'm just not sure if I've got the right ends and I usually keep it down here on my camper battery. Uh, another thing is it's got a windscreen riser on it. Um, it helps quite a bit. Well, according to him, it helps quite a bit compared to stock. It gets the windshield from being down here up to here. And like I said, on the highway, especially when I have my street helmet on, I really don't have any problems with uh, buffeting at all. And then he's just put a little uh, clock up there. And I figure if I do any other farkles or I can put like a RAM mount or something for my phone up here on my bars or an extra GoPro. Uh, planning on doing a lot more videos and a lot more trips and doing some vlogging. I was planning on going to Arkansas last night uh, for a dual sport ride. See, I got my sleeping bag in there, and I did have my clothes in it, too. But the weather down there is supposed to be pretty bad, and I didn't feel like riding and soaking rain for four or five hours on my first trip. You see in there, I've got my tent, my inflatable sleeping pad, and some Gore-Tex rain gear. I was pretty impressed how well everything fit. Um, the original owner also, at 2,000 miles, put a new rear tire on. It's the same one as stock. And uh, he gave me six extra oil filters. Uh, he said that he changed, well, he's actually got it written down in the manual. He changed the oil every 500 miles and wrote down what kind of oil he used and uh, uh, the date on all the oil changes. So I've got the service records from it. So that's pretty good. He took really good care of it. Uh, when I picked it up, it was spotless. It's still pretty clean, but I took it on a little bit of gravel and splashed through some puddles, so it probably won't ever be that clean again. Uh, I plan on 
using the bike as much as I can. One thing I ran into, the original owner said that you could get about 250 miles out of a tank, and I was riding yesterday, and I was right at 200, and it started cutting out on me on the highway, so I turned it to, I pulled over and turned it to reserve and made it to a gas station. I don't know how long the reserve usually lasts. If you guys know, you might leave it in the comments, um, but... I think at about 150, 175, I'll probably just stop and fill it up from now on so I don't ever run into that. Well, uh, I guess that's about it for this video. I figure here in another, probably sometime this week, I'll be doing an oil change on it. And I'll do a how-to video on that. And then, like I said, I'll try to get a video of this once I get it cleaned up. We'll put these new tires on. And... Uh, Trying something new with the dirt bike too. Instead of a 190-90-19, I went with a 110-80-19. So a little wider tread. Um, and these are some inexpensive tires I got from Motorsport called R-Tracks. So we're going to give those a shot. As you can see, this tire here is getting pretty shot. And there's some whole knobbies ripped off somewhere on it. Right there, that whole knobby's ripped off. But she needs a wash first. If you guys have any questions or recommendations or ideas for videos or something uh, let me know like I said I'm gonna try to start putting together some good videos doing some moto vlogging um, if anybody's got tips on a microphone to put inside your helmet that would be awesome um, any tips on a good middle of the road price range helmet right now I've been wearing my motocross helmet but if it's cool at all you get a lot of wind in your face and it's pretty cold and then I've also got a Bell Star here, which was a pretty good helmet, but it's honestly too small and digs into my head, and it is extremely loud. It has more wind noise than any other helmet that I've ever had. Um, and one other thing, we've got the Ozark 250 over here buried and stuff for my wife. It's going to need a rebuild soon, so we'll make some videos on that too. i got all sorts of projects, all sorts of stuff we can make videos on like i said give me some ideas um, suggestions whatever you guys think um until next time midwest and the rest thanks a lot